God, I can't get enough of Coldplay. It's called No Line on the Horizon. That's the name of the Scottish band's long-awaited 12th album, which came out this week. And while this news leaves me drier than B. Arthur's Baby Maker, other people seem to be excited about it. So let's find out why via the brilliant music journalist and webmaster of MarkPrindle.com. Mark Prindle. So, Mark, what do you think of U2's latest effort? Was it as good as their seminal album, Pet Sounds? Well, first of all, I, I love that it's called No Line on the Horizon mm -hmm. because I can't get no line on my Verizon. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, but really. Nicely done. Uh, thanks. Um, it's a letdown. It starts off with two really great songs, and you think you're in for, you know, another great U2 album like Sgt. Pepper's or Pet Sound. And uh, then from there, it takes a total nosedive and gets really self-important. And that, that sexy boot song I personally find pretty awful, but... Um, but basically, on a scale of one to ten, I'd give it a C minus. Mm, interesting. You know, um, uh, you know, you write about the lyrics. I found the lyrics to be uh, moronic, and you can hear them, yeah. which is normally you could in the early days you couldn't really hear it. Now you can hear it. Is are Bono's lyrics as lyrical as usual? Well, I, I've given up on you know. Oh, no. I've given up on Bono. Yes. Because he's. What's going on up there? I don't know. Oh, lots of drugs. Yes. Oh, no, no, Show no. Me his Bono. The problem with Bono is that. <laughs> the problem with Bono is that he's so busy with his politics, I think. Yeah. He's off doing the, you know, relieving himself in Africa or whatever. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, but then you've got, so you've got, it depends on the edge or the veg, if you ask me, considering the, and then there's, uh, who, the Larry Mullen. He should be mulling over some new song ideas. And uh, uh, Adam, I don't, I don't have one for Adam Clayton, but, you know, he sucks too. Yeah, very, uh, good. very good. Now, you know, Rolling Stone gave the album five out of five stars. Were they giving a different copy than you? I have no idea. Keep in mind, you're talking to a guy here, me, who actually liked All That You Can't Leave Behind. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm demanding they make a good album, <laughs> yeah. you know? Just something with a little, oh, and a little, ding -a -ding -a -ding -a -ding -a. <laughs> and this one just doesn't have it. Yeah. Now, uh, there are, you two is also planning on releasing a quickie follow-up album next year. Do you think it'll be any better? That actually reminds me of a funny story, Greg. Really? Yeah, this, this one time, I thought I heard an album that was worse than No Line on the Horizon. Yeah. But it turns out I'd just fallen asleep with my head on a hornet's nest. <laughs> right. And my eardrum was getting stung over and over again. <laughs> that is a good story. Yeah, I know. Yeah, now, you know, there's a lot of big reunions coming up. you got Jane's Addiction, which seems to be having a reunion every year. Yeah. And then there's Simon and Garfunkel. Faith No More, Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yes. Faith No More. Faith No More. What are your favorites? Yeah, what are your thoughts on this? That's great. And that's a reunion that no one ever thought was going to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, because, as you know, their singer Mike Patton has spent the last 20 years making fart noises into a tape recorder. <laughs> yes. But, um, see, here it goes. It's going again. I don't know what's wrong with my ear. <laughs> yes. um, but, yeah, that's wonderful. The Jane's Addiction, like you said, do you remember their last reunion, Strays? That yes. Strays album? Yes. Did yeah. you buy that? No, I only heard that one song from on the Entourage. Right. Show. Well, did, look in any dollar bin in, on the planet and you'll find a copy of that piece of crap. As Simon and Garfunkel, wait, you're telling me they got all two members of Simon and Garfunkel back? I mean, that's kind of like next you're going to be telling me that Neil Young's back together. Hey, now, um, Sublime and Alice in Chains, uh, they're going to have new lead singers uh, mm -hmm. replacing their past drug casualties. Should I care? Sublime there's a misnomer. Uh, but uh, Alice in Chains, I think you should because Lane Staley, here, I'm just going to take it out. I don't need to hear you. Uh, because Lane Staley was actually an excellent vocalist for that kind of grunge music thing yeah. going. But they found a great replacement. Did you hear who they chose to replace him? No, I didn't. Kurt Cobain. No, I know. Really? I don't know how that's going to work out. I mean, they had a rivalry going there in Seattle for a while. But that's incredible. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, incredible news. Now, talk to me about the news that Michael Jackson. He's uh, planning a, uh, a plan, uh, planning on playing London this summer. Uh, mm -hmm. Do the British tolerate him as uh, over there? Uh, don't be down on him. This is great news. I mean, finally, a whole new generation of young people are going to have the opportunity to be touched by his music. <laughs> yes, that is so true. That's what he's calling it. Yeah. What did you make of his press conference? He, uh, he's not particularly sane, I don't think. <laughs> yes, There's yes. a lot of this, yeah. a lot yeah. of this, and a lot of, I love you. <laughs> yes. So there he is now. Yeah, do you know, it, here he is. Yeah. Um, Britney Spears, she just kicked off uh, her circus tour. Uh, will you be attending? What, did you hear about this? Her tour is going to be have like martial artists and jugglers and all this circus stuff yeah. for two hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> Look, you want a circus here? Yeah. 
I saved you two hundred and fifty dollars. That is amazing. I know. I helped yourself to all the green room food you could eat for that, sir. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. I, got, I got one more question for you, P. Diddy. He's got a forthcoming high concept uh, uh, soul funk album. Mm -hmm. Is he aiming too high? That reminds me of a funny joke, Greg. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, knock knock. Who's there? Diddy. Diddy who? Did he ever have any talent? <laughs> uh, no. This, the, actually, the name of the album is Last Train to Paris. Right. And he is making a movie called Last Train to Paris, which I could have spoiled. Isn't there already a movie called Last Train to Paris? I have no idea. That one on the internet with the hill? Oh, I'm sorry. That was that was pulling a train on Paris. I'm sorry. I was thinking of something else. All right. Hey, Mark, we got to go. We got This train has to pull out. little transition there. Uh, see you soon. Well done, my friend. Thank Coming you. up next, what's my mom up to now? An impressive 230 in her bench press.